I'm going to show you how to add our RFK411 RF antenna kit. This will give you up to 2,000 feet of range. It comes with two single button remotes that lock, unlock, and start the vehicle. It is a one-way system with 2,000 feet of range. To install the RFK411, we will locate the balled up data cable that is taped to our harness uh, with a four pin plug that has a clip on it similar to the four pin data plug but it has a clip this is the port where we're going to access uh, the Evo for our antenna kit we supply a coupler with some of our kits you gotta make sure if you only have this male end and you don't have a female uh, end on your T harness that you have a coupler we plug the coupler in then we plug the antenna kit antenna in. This has the antenna. Um, I'm just going to drape it over the steering wheel while we program because you'll see that uh, it will give some feedback of programming here. Uh, we're ready to begin the programming procedure. So in order to program the remotes, we're going to need to have the remotes we want to program and the key to the vehicle. We're going to begin the programming procedure by removing the four pin data plug. We're going to press and hold the program button down. We're going to plug in the four pin data plug. When we do this, the lights on the front are going to begin to cycle. This time we're going to wait for a solid blue and red LED to be lit and we're going to let up on the button. If we land on any other color, we have to repeat the procedure. With a solid blue and red LED, we're going to press the button down, hold it down. The blue and red lights will go out. We're going to release the button when the blue and red lights come back on. We're ready to begin the pairing of the remotes at this point. We're going to need the key to the vehicle. We're going to place the key to the vehicle in the ignition. We're going to turn the ignition to the run position. When we do this, the yellow light's going to come on in between these two lights. We're going to introduce the remote. When the remote is accepted, the blue and the red light will blink, acknowledging the remote has been learned by the Evo. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. So we're gonna place the key in the ignition. We're gonna turn the ignition to the run position. Two clicks. Now we're going to press and hold the remote button down, the blue light on the remote is going to illuminate. We're going to keep the button down. The blue light's going to go out on the remote. The button is still being held down. When the blue light comes back on, release the button. You'll see the Evo accept the remote. We're going to repeat the procedure with the second remote. Hold the button down. It takes approximately 12 seconds. Light's going to go off. Light's going to come back on. Then we're going to release the button and the Evo is going to accept the remote. So we're going to shut the key off. The Evo will exit programming mode. And at this point, we can control the vehicle with our aftermarket remotes. One press will lock the doors. And you can hear them. Uh, two presses will unlock the doors. Okay, so it did all of the doors. And pressing and holding will trigger remote start. Now this kit comes with two remotes. I have listings with these remotes included. Uh, don't be limited just by the factory remote because you'll find out that you wish you had upgraded to something with a little more distance. It's a very, very good way to upgrade. It's economical and it will do the job. We're gonna move on to the RF642W two-way remotes. We're going to install and pair the RF642W multi-button two-way remotes to our system. The installation procedure is the same uh, as far as the connection goes as the 411. We're going to use our coupler and we're going to plug it into the four pin data plug with the clip and we're going to plug our antenna into the other side of the coupler and this will make our connection we're going to go ahead and 
straight the antenna. Okay, we're going to begin the programming procedure um, again by removing the four pin data plug. We're going to hold the program button down. We're going to plug in the four pin data plug. We're going to release when the blue and the red LEDs are both lit. At this point, we're going to press and hold the button down. The blue and red lights are going to go out. We're going to release the button when the blue and red lights come back on. Now we're ready to pair our remotes. We need to have both remotes available and the key to the vehicle. We're going to place the key in the ignition, turn the ignition to the run position. Okay, when we do this, the Evo is going to be waiting for us to press the bottom button of the first remote, release it, and then press the top button. You'll see the lights blink, and you'll watch this LED, and you'll see that the uh, Evo has accepted the remotes. We're going to take the second remote, press the bottom button, release it, press the top button, release it. Both remotes have been introduced to the Evo. We're now going to shut the key off and remove it from the ignition. At this point, we can use the 642W to control the vehicle. Okay, so we're going to lock the door. 642, we're going to unlock the door. Notice the LED uh, light on the remote and on the antenna. When the antenna is installed in the windshield, this will blink uh, when the doors are locked, kind of simulating an alarm. Uh, keep thieves away, see the blinking light, and think you have an alarm. Now we can unlock the vehicle, and if you notice, we're getting a two-way confirmation for each command with the LED light on the remote. The green blink, one blink is a lock confirmation, green two blinks, unlock confirmation. Uh, if we have a power hatch uh, or anything, we can release it with this bottom button by pressing and holding. Uh, I guess this Liberty does have a hatch, so I just heard it release. Uh, we can start the engine also, pressing and holding the power icon. The green is acknowledgement the vehicles received the signal. The engine's going to start. Successful starting, this light will pulse about once every 30 seconds, letting you know the vehicle's running. So we can shut the vehicle down, pressing the bottom button and the second button up, or the power icon. And again, we want to make sure when we're doing our testing that our kill switch is not on. If the kill switch is on in the on position, and you're using an RF antenna kit, the convenience features locking and unlocking and releasing the hatch will still work, but the engine will not start by remote. If you attempt to start it, you will get the five flash error. So we want to turn the kill switch off and retest our device. And this is a remote start. Now remember also, no matter what RF antenna kit you choose, the OEM remote will still retain the ability to start the vehicle or turn it off. I'm going to move on to the MyCar. I'm going to install the MyCar smartphone controller. The installation is very similar to the RF antenna kits. We're going to get started. Okay, again, we're going to locate the four pin data plug with a clip on it taped to our harness. We're going to take the MyCar harness and we have an adapter that will allow you to plug the MyCar directly in to the plug with a clip on it on the uh, T harness. So we're going to do that. As soon as we plug it in, the MyCar is going to begin searching for cellular and GPS signals. Green light is a cellular. Uh, activity indicator. The red light is a GPS activity indicator. So it's going to start searching for signals. When the light goes solid, the device has us acquired it and locked onto a cellular signal. So we're going to wait for the green light to stop flashing and go solid. There's a stamping on the case that indicates which side is to be mounted 
down, facing down. So we're going to set it up on the dash with the correct side facing down. We're going to let it acquire a signal. We're going to pair the my car to our device. We're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the four pin data plug. We're going to hold the program button down. We're going to plug in the four pin data plug. We're going to release the button when we have the blue and the red lights both lit. At this point we're going to press and hold the button down, the lights will go out, we're going to release the button when the lights come back on. Okay, so now we're going to pair the my car. When we, when we put the key in and turn it to the run position, the yellow light's going to come on in the center and then the blue and the red LED are going to blink. It happens quick, it only happened one time, this is an acknowledgement that the Evo has accepted the my car. So it's going to happen automatically when we turn the key on. So keep your eye on the module lights. There we go. There's our acknowledgement. We're going to shut the key off, exit programming mode, remove the key. The My Car is now paired to the Evo. So we have our app up and running. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to send some commands to the Evo. I'm going to lock the doors. And you can hear the doors. Try to lock, and there's our confirmation sent back to the My Car app. We're going to unlock the doors. Show you the Evo. There we go. And there's the doors unlocking. So we'll go ahead and we'll lock it again, and I'll show you what happens on the Evo so you can see because you can't really hear it. The doors were already locked. So here's a lock command. Should be coming through any second here. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to start the vehicle. So we're going to trigger remote start. And commands take a few seconds. And there we go. Evo's received the command and started. Um, the app's going to indicate. Looks like we just sold the starter, um, and we're going to get a runtime reported back to the uh, My Car app, and the vehicle will run for the runtime, and it will shut it off. If you want to shut it off prior to that, you can cancel out Remote Start. There we go. So we'll know when it turns off. The tone will go there. The runtime will will go away. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to release the trunk or hatch release. We have the auxiliary programmed in and you can hear it click and report it back to the device. We're going to GPS track our vehicle. Uh, that's exactly where it is. Uh, and we're going to go back to the main screen. Notice we have a uh, signal strength meter which is nice, it tells you that you have good signal strength. Uh, to the my car module that's installed in your vehicle to make the picture match your car uh, we have a battery voltage indicator so currently the my car uh, first year of service is included with the initial purchase of the my car and each additional year is approximately thirty nine dollars per year very reasonable uh, for this app so we're gonna go ahead and put our vehicle back together.